Hello everybody, it's MMFQ Death here, and today I have an awesome mod review for you guys. This mod is on the Modern Armor mod for Minecraft 1.6.4, and it is made by a guy named Mr. Sideburns over on the Minecraft forum. So first off, I wanted to thank the guy for the mod. It's an awesome mod. Uh, I actually really like it. It's probably one of the cooler mods that I've seen recently, which is why I decided to do a review on it. So anyway... Let's go ahead and get into some of the items that we have here. So as you can see, there's not a whole ton, ton, ton of stuff added, but there's a good amount. So let's go ahead and start to get into it. So the first thing that the mod adds is this new ore here. So if we were to go into uh, survival mode and mine it, you can see it drops multiple things similar to quartz and redstone. And it is called gypsum. I hope I said that right. <laughs> gypsum crystals so these gypsum crystals can be used to make fireproofing stuff uh, similar to the stuff that I'm going to show you later in the video so now first let's go ahead and get this stuff started cooking and then I'll explain to you what it actually is <laughs> okay so right here we are now smelting down smashed glass which you can make by just putting glass into a crafting table such as you will see right here and it will give you four smashed glass. So when you do that, if you were to cook the smashed glass, you will get fiberglass plates. Now, what those are used for is to get fiberglass armor. Now, of course, you guys are very familiar with the way that uh, armor is crafted in Minecraft. Um, so I figured I would only show the helmets because the helmets are the only ones that vary from the normal crafting recipes. So as you can see, the fiberglass helmet is crafted with five fiberglass plates, which again, you can get by smelting the smashed glass in a furnace. And that'll give you fiberglass plates. So there's the fiberglass armor. Now he says that this armor is lower tier than um, iron, but it is in between iron and, uh, or leather and gold. So it's a pretty low tier armor. Now, if you don't have diamonds yet, but you want some really durable armor, the tough iron armor is the next one to go up in tiers. So this is a really good set of armor. It has the same durability as iron, but it does not have the same protection. The protection is in between iron. Um, I think it's right above iron is what he said. So first, what you have to do is get three iron ingots. Now, keep in mind, this is going to take a lot of iron. So you need three iron ingots to make a stacked iron. Now, what you do with the stacked iron is you, again, put it into the furnace and smelt it down into tough iron. So basically, three pieces of iron equals one tough iron. So a suit of armor will take three times the amount. So as you can see, again, it's the standard crafting recipe for the tough iron helmet, and it's a very good suit of armor. Now, the next one up is where it starts to get a tiny bit complex, and that is with the bulletproof armor. So the bulletproof armor is crafted with silk fabric. Now, silk fabric is crafted with six string and a crafting bench, and it will give you, I think that's eight silk fabric. So that's that. Um, then what you can do is take that silk fabric and line it around three iron ingots to get yourself a bulletproof padding. Now, one bulletproof padding isn't really that much. So let's go ahead and go in here, but it gives you three. So this crafting recipe here will give you three bulletproof padding. Now to get a helmet, you're gonna need five of those. So five bulletproof padding gives you one bulletproof helmet and they come stock enchanted with projectile protection three. So you pretty much are, you know, bulletproof. So let's go ahead and move on to the next armor, which is the fireproof armor. Now fireproof armor again uses this silk fabric to craft and you will take three silk fabric surrounded by that gypsum crystal that you just saw that I mined and on the top and bottom, and that will give you three fireproof fabric. So if you take five of those around a glass pane, it will give you a fireproof helmet, which comes stock enchanted with fire protection five. And again, all of these are identical to the rest of the armor crafting recipes, just with the new materials. Yes, yes, burn it on. So now the next one on our list is the cloth. Now cloth armor, as far as I can tell, is just i would guess a little bit stronger than leather but it can be made entirely from string so if you take this silk fabric which again is made in this exact same crafting recipe only with string um, and you double it over you get cloth padding now cloth padding can be directly made into armor without anything else involved except for just your string and cloth and it will give you this cool black looking armor which honestly i think looks pretty cool it looks like a sweater too when you wear it so that is the cloth armor. Now the next one is probably one of the most uh, severe armors in the mod, and that is the bomb-proof armor. 
So as you can see here, it is completely bomb proof. It comes with stock projectile protection two, fire protection two, and blast protection three. So it is made with the fireproof fabric that you saw how to craft earlier, the bulletproof padding, which you again saw how to craft earlier, and the cloth padding, which you saw how to craft earlier. Now, I didn't put three here. It's supposed to give you three. I just forgot, honestly. I could just, you know, grab two more and do that. So anyway, it's supposed to give you three. And then uh, five around a glass pane gives you the bomb proof helmet. And again, these are made in the same traditional sense as regular armor. As you can see, it's just the bomb proof padding. So now let's move on to another one of my favorite features about the mod is the scuba gear. So it's been a really long time since I've actually seen a scuba gear, um, like scuba gear in a mod. And I really like the idea of scuba gear in Minecraft. So again, thank you, Mr. Sideburns for adding this to your mod. It's really appreciated. So basically what it is, is iron ingots around a glass pane gives you a scuba helmet, which comes with aqua affinity five and respiration one. Now, again, you also have another thing, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, because I'm great at math. Uh, six <laughs> iron ingots around in a pattern like this will give you an oxygen tank. And if you combine two, you will get a scuba tank, which gives you respiration three. Now let's go ahead and throw these on real quick. Just because. The main reason why I wanted to throw it on is you notice my UI looks completely normal and doesn't look like anything's changed, which is a big improvement over the past scuba gear the other scuba gears you usually find in mods because it usually affects the UI and changes it and I'm not a big fan of that. So then in this you see that you can also make blocks out of the tough iron and the fiberglass plate. Which I think is really cool because now you can have two different styles of blocks. And I'll go ahead and show you what these look like. As well as do one other thing. We are going to grab a cool little item here that you guys are very familiar with which is flint and steel. So earlier you guys probably noticed that I said I was gonna show you something. So now first off here are the two blocks, fiberglass and tough iron. Well, I was going to show you this wood here. So you can see up at the top of my tool tips, it says fire treated oak wood plank. What that means is it doesn't burn. I can light anything as much as I want on fire. I can go around here, light all that on fire, try to light it on fire and it won't work and the fire is going out, the wood isn't catching. But yeah, so that is the Modern Armors mod. Uh, it comes with a lot of cool little features, such as the fire-treated wood. You know, if you wanna build a wooden house, not have to worry about it being burned down, that's always a cool option. So anyways, you guys, it's been MMFQ Death. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys give this guy the uh, download that he deserves and go and check out the mod. It's really awesome, and it's starting to turn nighttime, and I'm gonna be killed, so I'm gonna go. Anyways, thank you all for watching. As always, it's been MMFQ Death, and peace off. I win.